guys, welcome to the Fun Food Zone for 2019. I'm JD Daly and this is the 2018 Roundup. I started off in April and I've been to so many places I wouldn't have ordinarily gone before and I had the time of my life. But I started off pretty camera shy because what I noticed was the camera didn't actually seem to like me. Um, the person I saw in the mirror was completely different to the person I saw on camera and it really shocked me. If a lox is, say, 50%, it would take away 30% or 40%. And if you're just talking normally, it just seemed to make me seem as though I'm really droll. So what I noticed, I had to learn how to apply makeup properly. I had to learn about lighting. And I also had to sort of lighten up. But the camera seemed to reduce everything. It seemed to magnify the bad points and reduce the good points. So that took a lot of getting used to life in front of the camera. My first vlog was at a restaurant called Franklin's in Lordship Lane in Dulwich that serves British cuisine. I was pretty nervous when I arrived, but thankfully I arrived during lunchtime and it was pretty quiet, so uh, that was quite a relief. Uh, the decor has quite uh, a sort of a Wild West type of uh, decor. It reminded me of a saloon in the Wild West. Um, it's quite a large restaurant, really nice and um but again i was terrible in front of the camera um i just couldn't be myself um so i ditched myself in that vlog and i just sort of vlogged the food and the restaurant but it was stuck behind the camera the second place i went to was at a, an italian restaurant in west nord called manuel's it's just near the roundabout and um, I was very nervous when I arrived, but the restaurant manager was really accommodating, really friendly, which really helped. So I went around filming the restaurant. Um, they have a, a downstairs and an upstairs, um, a bar downstairs. Um, I love the flowery decor outside. Um, they have a small alfresco dining area. And yes, it was really sort of had a lovely warm atmosphere. The waiter was really friendly and I ordered a risotto. The food was really nice. But again, I didn't feature myself on the food because I just couldn't cut it in front of the camera. I just wasn't sort of doing it. I didn't like myself, how I sort of looked and how I came across. So I ditched myself in that vlog yet again. Then there was Ponte Nuovo in Crystal Palace. Again, the waiters were really friendly and accommodating. Thanks guys if you're watching. Um, I love the upmarket decor and it was quite a large restaurant as well and I loved what I ordered. I ordered a pizza that was great. My sister loved what she had ordered but yet again I'm afraid I just sort of didn't like how I came across on video. I wasn't cutting it so I decided to ditch myself in that. So it was just sort of like a restaurant promo of Ponte Nuovo. I discovered the Great North Ward in West Norwood. Uh, it's right near West Norwood train station and it was such a lovely discovery. It's a really large restaurant. It has a beer garden outside, which was really colorful, very beautiful, lovely flowers, loads of seating areas. It had a really cool lounge area upstairs and another restaurant upstairs. So uh, loads of places to dine out. Um, what I ordered was a veggie burger and I absolutely loved that burger. Um, as a vegetarian, sometimes I come away feeling disappointed but at the Great Northwood um, that wasn't the case and I would definitely go there again um, it's definitely a place to go during summertime to enjoy the beer garden and there's loads of places to explore so that was a really nice experience but again I was just behind the camera I'm afraid jumping ahead to my ninth vlog I was invited down to a restaurant called Mano on the pavement in Clapham um, to film a tea masterclass hosted by Jane Pettigrew. I didn't really know what to expect but I had such a wonderful experience tasting all these teas there was such a variety of them and it was lovely meeting Jane Pettigrew. I love the decor at Mano. It's very colourful, very flowery. It had these beautiful indoor flowers and it really suit to the whole area because it's based just opposite Clapham Common and so there was this beautiful summery atmosphere at the Mano. I passed this restaurant called The Tart when I was there. Um, I did another vlog based on a places vlog based on all the restaurants on the pavement and there's quite a few there and um, I dined at number 32 but I came across this restaurant called The Tart and my sixth sense was telling me that is the place to dine out at. But um, by the time I finished filming, it had closed. I think it closes at six o'clock. 
so I dined at number 32. It was really buzzing at number 32. And sort of atmosphere and uh, there was a beautiful al fresco dining area upstairs on a balcony. I loved the decor and I loved what I had ordered. But my mindset was on the tart. So I went back specifically and did a vlog at the tart and I definitely knew why my sixth sense went off the radar because the tart was about the best tart I've ever tasted, ever. One of the best times I've had vlogging was at the Sky Gardens in Benchurch Street in London. I went there on the most beautiful sunny day with clear blue skies and I was so blown away by the whole Sky Garden experience. Um, there were stunning views of the Thames outside and also there was an indoor tropical garden, um, there was different restaurants, there was the pod uh, restaurant, I dined at Fenchurch Street restaurant and I was so surprised that it was so upmarket. For the moment I looked at it, it was like, wow, what a stunning looking restaurant. I love the warm interior, it was just right and it had this beautiful summery atmosphere. The tables were also spaced wide apart, um, which I quite like. I don't really prefer restaurants where the tables are too close together you sort of feel as though you're dining with other diners it was a nice space between the tables and that's really good for filming as well because um, it makes me feel sort of less self-conscious I was a bit nervous about my order because I was having such a great time at Sky Gardens I was sort of fearful that my order would sort of be a bit of a disappointment but I'm, I'm happy to say that it wasn't I loved what I ordered and it was very sort of unusual as well. It wasn't something I would knock up myself. Uh, and I'm quite a good cook. So um, I was really impressed with what I ordered. My sister loved what she had ordered too. So overall, I would give my experience at Sky Gardens a 10 out of 10. So, so far, I'd stuck with London um, in terms of dining out and going out on fun food adventures. So I decided, since we were having such a great summer in 2018, I decided to head out of London. So I did a lot of calling around to find the best place to dine out of London that wasn't too far and I found the Poacher and Partridge and I couldn't have found a better place. It was just an hour out of London and yeah before I knew it, I was there and it was stunning. It had so much wide open space, fields, meadows. There was also a huge al fresco dining area and uh, the restaurant itself was huge and it had a stunning interior. So my camera loved it. Uh, I loved filming at Poacher and Partridge. I went around 3 o'clock when it was pretty quiet, but by 6 o'clock it was filling out quite a bit uh, with a lot of families with children. And I could understand why, because they had a huge play area outside, including an adventure playground and a tennis table. Um, and, you know, children, they love to run around and have space to play. So that was an ideal place to take children. I actually loved what I ordered. I had the best pizza I've ever had. I have to be honest, um, it was a caramelized onion pizza that included figs. I've never had a pizza with figs before and it worked perfectly. Um, even now I'm having fantasies about that pizza. My sister also loved what she had ordered and it was stunning. It was on a drip. Uh, I, I loved filming it. I've never seen anything like that before. It was a kebab and she absolutely loved it. So it was just lovely sitting outside in the al fresco with all that space. It's a great place to go if you want to escape city life, uh, the hubbub, the crush. Um, when I went to Chinatown, it was definitely the case of sort of, you go there, you eat, um, you leave. It didn't have that beautiful wide open sort of country space. I mean, I loved vlogging in Chinatown, but uh, the Poetry and Part 2 was definitely uh, a beautiful place to go during the summertime and enjoy the country scenes and they have loads of excursions you can go to at the Poacher and Partridge, country walks and bike rides and different sort of excursions. Check out their website. So jumping ahead to the Thames dinner cruise, I did a lot of calling around, a lot of emails, but finally I got authorization to film the Thames dinner cruise and I'm so lucky I persisted because it was the best time I've had. When I arrived at Embankment Pier, I was so excited. I felt like a kid in a toy store and I wondered what it was about. My sixth scent was going off the radar and thankfully the weather was absolutely perfect. Yet again in 2018, we had the best summer ever. I just hope we can have the same beautiful summer this year, 2019. But anyway, I was allowed on the cruise ship a bit early to do filming before the other guests arrived. 
and um, it was so upmarket. I loved the interior and there was such a beautiful atmosphere of being on a cruise ship. It was just so surreal. I've never been on a Thames cruise before and it was just such a this magical sort of atmosphere. You have to sort of experience it for yourself. There's something about being on a boat. Um, it makes me sort of suddenly wish that I had a friend that had a boat because there's something about sailing. The interior was really upmarket, which was quite surprised. It was like a nice upmarket restaurant. It had the extra difference. There was also an open top lounge upstairs where you can head up and look at the beautiful view of the, the Thames uh, while the ship is sailing in between uh, courses. I booked a table for two by the window and thank goodness because I was able to film stunning views of the Thames. Also, it would have been a bit awkward if I had the camera directed towards other diners. Most people don't really like cameras directed their way. But instead I was able to film the beautiful view of the River Thames. The whole history of London seemed to roll before my eyes with so many grand buildings built hundreds of years ago mixed in with the most modern buildings like the Shard. I was so impressed by the experience that I decided to produce my own background music which I called Great London. It's playing right now, it's very classical. I just wanted to capture the whole grandness of the whole scene. I plan to release Great London sometime this year, so I hope you'll uh, check it out. But like Sky Gardens, I was a bit nervous about my order. I hoped that it wouldn't be a downer, but I got the surprise of my life because I loved what I ordered. It seemed as though like a top chef had made it. It just added to the whole experience. Uh, my sister loved what she had ordered. So overall, with the Thames Dinner Cruise, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. So if you haven't gone on a Thames Dinner Cruise, I would definitely recommend booking your tickets because it's such a stunning experience. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.